Hey guys, this is Peter again and we are going on with the blog tutorial and this is part 2. So just a quick snapshot. Where did we left off? We went through the first part of the blog tutorial. We downloaded the cake uh, project. We created a database. You can see we have one database with one table and we made some configuration for the cake to find in this database we did some optional configuration to make sure that every security uh, works fine such as the hash generating or the encrypt decrypt functions but we won't use any of that now just a simple tutorial and finally, we set up the mod rewrite module to make sure that we have this nice search engine friendly URLs. And this was the first part. You can see we have an empty cake application. If I type post, there is no controller found post so we have to do something to make sure that this is working and see the next part of the tutorial which is available from the tutorials and examples menu as you can see the next step is creating a post model so go to your model forger in my case is WAMP www blog app and model I make a copy of this PHP file and I will name it post.php make sure that the naming convention is right so post.php is fine grab the file to the editor and delete all the content and leave only the PHP tags and see what we have to paste next just create an empty class called post that's fine for now but we don't have the controller yet so the application won't work now next step creating the posts controller you have to find the forger controller which is above one directory we have the module directory and controller it's nice grab the app controller create a copy name it posts see if it's correct no it's not we have to call it posts controller because it's the only way that works kphp so posts controller grab to the editor delete all the content just the php tags and see what we have to paste in A class with helpers but I jump to the next Code snippet and I copy and paste this. So, what is happening right here? We import these two helpers for our application, it's HTML and form, to make sure we have the easiest way to insert. Uh, links or form elements or other any nice HTML tags and the public function index will make the page for listing all the blog posts you can see this function is uh, setting up a variable named posts and the content of the variable will be every uh, 
blog post what we can find in the database the easiest way to do that is calling the built-in function find and giving it a parameter all so it will grab all the free blog posts what we have right here so these three rows will be the content of the variable and this is fine for now because we want only the index page working so save all these files post controller.php and post.php go back to your application and see what happens if I hit F5 make sure that you have the right URL so posts not post and there is no view so it says uh, we have all the data from the database but there is no view to show, show us what is the result so scrolling down to the next step is creating post views this is what we need right now without the views you can see what is in the posts variable uh, array which has all the entries of the database and this is not so readable as you want so we have to create an index view which is responsible for showing us the result of this variable posts to do that just grab all these lines and you have to create a new folder in the view folder let's do that I'm in the view folder and there is no subfolder as posts because the application doesn't know what we want to do so we have to tell him or her as you like so posts new forger posts it's fine and let's see if there is yes there is a file here what I can use and call it index.ctp this is not a readable extension for any editors but there is no uh, extraordinary magic behind this extension it's uh, for the cake php but you can edit very easily if you name it and html or php or whatever you like so just grab the file the editor you can see it's full of interesting stuff what we don't need but we need this content right here paste and that's it pretty much so if you are familiar with HTML which I assume you can see the only magic is happening right here which is a loop going through all the post and tries and echoing out in a nice way to see which posts uh, are in our database so save the file close because we have to put the extension back to ctp yes I want to change going back to our application F5 it's very nice you can see here are all the boss here are all the blog posts with the title with the date with the ID it's very nice so what does the CTP doing in the background I'm gonna show you because I missed that part yes I want it in HTML so we have a nice little what the heck is this so we grab our HTML helper if you remember we imported it the post controller so we have in our application 
application and it has a built-in function named link. The link has two main parameters, the name, this is the first parameter, and the second is the URL. The name is the post title, which is from the post variable. If you remember, we have our array here. So here is the post and here is the title. We use this post title. So this will be shown on the page and the URL will be this nice thing here. What is this? This calls our controller posts and name an action which is not existing yet, but it will soon. This action has a name U and it grabs a parameter after this comma and it's the ID of the post. So basically if we uh, hit this link, the title, we will go to the post controller view action and the view action will have a parameter, the post ID. Let me show you how it looks at the moment. Hit the URL and we can see the action view is not defined in a controller. So we have to go back. This was the index view. And we have to extend our posts model uh, class with this function view. I'm going to post controller. Yes. It's almost nice. So this function view grab an ID which is null if we don't give them if we don't give one and read the posts from the database which has an ID what we have passed through. So if you go back to your application and hit F5. Action view is not defined in the controller. Mm. Ah, I didn't save the file. So save the file, go back, hit F5. And now the view is missing. <clears throat> so we have the right function here, the view, but the template, the HTML layout is missing now. It's also here at the bottom of this section and this view will be responsible for a simple post layout. So go to the views and we have our index.ctp right here. It's good. Create a copy, <coughs> call it as view and I want to edit right now so I just going here this is the view ctp I have to paste these four lines and this will show the whole post and try. As you can see the title first, the date when it was created and the body. It's so simple. Close this file because I want to rename. The extension is not the correct one. And it has to work now. As you can see here is the title, the creation date and the uh, body of the post can see if I hit number two I have the other and try the three all works fine if I hit four there is an empty string because we don't have the false line in the, our database we have only three so we are done with our views the index and the 
current block post view. We are done for now with the controller and the model. So in the next video we will see how can you add, delete, edit your posts. See you guys later. Bye.